Welcome to Greater Brockton 2019 January edition. We're here with one of our fan favorites, Ray Yancey, from now it's Mass Hire Greater Brockton Workforce Board. That's exactly so right. So it's kind of a jumble of the uh, former acronym, which we won't repeat. Right. But you guys are Greater Brockton, yeah. and we're Greater Brockton. Then so it's perfect it that you're on the show. It works out. So yeah. a lot of free training coming up. Yep. At, at uh, three, interest to full disclosure, one of them is Southeastern Tech Institute. Yep. I'm on the school committee over there. It's right over in Easton, but yep. it's a b big Brockton base over here in the whole area. Right. Greater New Bedford yep. Regional Folk Tech yep. and Bristol Plymouth Regional Tech. Right. So if you're in the Bridgewaters and the Taunton area, you're down there. Yep. If you're in the New Bedford area, you're down there. And if you're in the Greater Brockton area, you're at STI. There you go. So tell us about the training. What, what type uh, of training? Well, actually for both Bristol and New Bedford, uh, it's a manufacturing or machine technology with advanced manufacturing. Uh, you're going to learn how to operate CNC machines, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that, that type of work. Uh, and, you know, I have to add this. I, I like saying this, that this training is free. Free is good. Free is really good. Because you know what? When you look on TV and you see all those big, we've talked about this before, the right. for-profit schools. Yeah. Like STI is not a for-profit right. school, nor is Bristol, nor is Greater right. Bedford. It's a public educational institution. Exactly. And you guys are a public institution as well. Right. You know, under the Labor and Workforce Development yep. Department mm -hmm. or, or, or whatever. But there, people pay big bucks, and a lot of those schools are out of business now, or people right. took out student loans for those. And, yeah, right. Uh, education department has given those loans. You're That's still it. You're taking still it paying. out of your arm yeah. intravenously. Right. So free is good. How long does the training go for? How uh, these are about, like, 300 hours, mm -hmm. all right? But the best thing they can do is they can call both Greater New Bedford or Bristol. Right. And uh, due to the career centers down there. Okay. And they'll give them all the information, how to sign up. Uh, January 22nd, the classes start. Mm -hmm. So that means they have about two weeks to make a phone call and get everything set. Uh, the numbers, I, I have them here somewhere. Uh, the number for um, New Bedford is 508-990-4000. Yep. And the number for... Uh, Bristol Plymouth is 508-730-5000. Let me just clarify. Yeah. Can people from this area go to the other area? Either areas? one, yeah. So I didn't mean to, you know, limit people. Right, no, they the can. Because the machine tech of those two schools, yeah. the advanced manufacturing and the precision machine engineering and the metal fab and welding are at South STI. Yeah, STI, right. Okay. And, and I'm going to give you that number as well. Okay. Okay. That number for STI is 508-230-1297. And there, uh, they, we haven't got a date yet for them, but they can call right. and get signed up for it. And they're giving away scholarships for their first term. Right. So the first two are free. Yeah, Completely definitely. free, no right. fees. And the third one is scholarship. Yeah. Um, it could be grants to Pell Grants right, or whatever, right. but they're taking care of that. Right. Okay. Right. So that's that, that's great. And um, what do you have to have any type of training or background or anything nope. to go into it? And, nope. and let me tell you something. At our school, mm -hmm. daytime, right. evening, right. women are yeah, going oh, into these fields. Oh, yeah. Um, we, we go over, we had the governor down who's given more money for, he likes vocational schools, yeah. he's given us more money for different programs, maybe some of these, mm -hmm. and uh, we've found some young women in some of the fields that generally in the past were traditionally men, so, right. you know, the old, we can do it, Yeah, right. they right. can do they it, can do okay, it. and, you know, no, vo vocational students and adults, yeah. they don't starve to death. No, okay? right, well, we've it, had two females in our last two welding programs. Okay. We have one in each. Uh, one young lady is started this month with the iron workers because of the welding program we put it through with STI. And you know what? You could be an iron worker one day and then you could be a congressman the next day because Stephen Lynch started yeah. off as an That's iron right. worker. That's right. Okay. Iron workers, it, it's huge yeah. in yeah. terms of what's done when you build a new building. Right. I mean, I have railings out in the back 
parking yeah, lot right. that needs to be they repaired. Need to be welded, do you yeah. ever want to try to do a testimonial with one of those people so we can uh, uh, do a promo? Yeah. Maybe a public service announcement. We can work we'll get it out. one of those folks back. Yeah, we'll and work we'll have it them out. talk about it. Maybe we'll find a way to follow them yeah. for a day or something yeah, like that. Yeah. As long as it's not it's heights. Hard, we don't there were a couple of there were a couple of us uh, yeah. here well, that don't like heights. I yeah. happen to be one of them because I fell off a ladder. You're one of them. I'm so. the other one. Okay, yeah. so yeah. have we covered the information? Uh, the what other else? yeah, for that the other thing I wanted to talk about was uh, we have two job openings for youth works. Mm. Uh, one is called an engaged coordinator, and they're going to report to uh, directly to the director of youth works. They're going to be instructing youth 16 to 24 in preparatory classes for high set and GED. Okay. okay. High set, just I know what it is, but maybe the audience doesn't. Yeah. That's the newer version of, of GED. the GED. Right. right. Everyone knew GED forever. Yeah. Right. High set is a new. It's just another name for politically it. correct yeah, uh, acronym, that's right? Basically, all it is. Okay. Uh, the other job is the, uh, they call it a youth recruitment and engagement liaison. They will report to the director of youth works as well. And uh, this person will recruit youth and provide job readiness training, coaching, and mentoring. And they'll be responsible for connecting Mass Higher Greater Brockton Workforce Board to the high school, uh, community organizations, and any potential partners that house youth eligible for services. Okay. Uh, they can send their resumes to Mass Higher GBWB at 34 School Street, Brockton, Mass. Okay. And uh, once they send their resumes in, then obviously there'll be somebody will be And in you guys have a website, right? Uh, yeah, actually it just came up. Just came online, yep. okay. Uh, but it's Mass, Mass Higher, okay. uh, Greater Brockton Workforce Board. Okay. At uh, dot .org, I'm sorry. Dot .org, yeah. okay. And that's so, the, that'll take you to the website. Okay, cool. So, you know, this is great. We get to talk about a couple of jobs mm -hmm. that are available, um, you know, created by, you know, um, you know employers pay into, uh, you know, unemployment and things like that. And, right. and funding trickles over for different things. Right. People can use your services. They can get a job. Yeah. Or they can take free training. What, what could be what, what could be better than exactly. that? Maybe they get the job and they want to learn how to weld too at yeah, the same exactly. time. You never know. Exactly. But you know, I'm really happy to hear about the partnerships that you folks have created mm -hmm. with the vocational schools. I, right. I'm biased. I think our kids do great work. Right. They're they're smart academically yep. and then they have a trade and right. they have a skill. And right. You know, you can have a plan A, a plan B, and a plan C. A yeah. lot of people think our kids, you know, they get the skill, they don't necessarily go to college. Well, they might. They might finish it up at Massasoit. If they ever want to be management, yeah, they right, might go yeah. there. Then they go to, we have an MCC to BSU, mm -hmm. a seamless program. Right. And then the other community colleges and colleges around the state, yeah. we're all in this together, all right? All together. We want we want a, a, a new workforce and a new economy. Yeah. And, in manufacturing jobs, we're going down, down, down. Now yeah, they're going now they're up, up, up. They're starting to come up. They're starting to come up. And you need the welding. Yeah. you got to build buildings that are made of steel and yeah. other stuff. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the those precision machining, you know, those CNC machines you're yeah. talking about, yeah. every time I go over there, I'm in awe. It's like going into awe. Yeah, right, right. Seeing what those well, can do and well, what the kids can do, can do with yeah, it. Yeah, right. So we got a minute left. Is there anything I missed? Yeah, no. The other thing I just wanted to, real quick, for this year, for 2019, there's going to be more CNA classes that we're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're looking at maybe doing medical assisting. Uh, there's going to be more welding classes. We're going to combine it with blueprint reading. Mm -hmm. So these are the things that are coming up. We're looking at some other things for this year. But... You know, everything is right now on the drawing board, but it'll get out there. We'll bring you back. Yeah, please do. We're, gonna, we're, we're, right. we're counting how many times people go on shows, and we're going to give up prizes for that. Uh, so your phone number is 508? Yep, 584-3234. I'm on extension 15. So if they want to get right to you, they call that's me the direct, way to go. Right. And I'm there from 10 to 3, Monday through Friday. And so. that's for the training and some of the classes. You don't want calls for resumes. Uh, right? No. Those okay. resumes go the other way. I got the wrap it up sign. Yeah. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank we'll have you. have you back. Thank you.
You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.